Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to make graph paper. So if you're familiar with graph paper, basically it's just paper with a grid and very commonly used in schoolwork assignments where you need to, need to chart out things. So instead of going to the store and buying graph paper, you can actually use Excel to make your own graph paper. So I'll show an example of how to make something like this where you would have, well, I guess I'll show three examples where you'd have basically your grid and then maybe one with this example where you have grid and then the numbers on the top and uh, to signify the columns and uh, to signify the rows and then also a example where you would have a the column headings be letters and the rows be row numbers very similar to what you've already seen in Excel where you have the columns as letters and the row as numbers so let's go and see how you do that let me go ahead and go to sheet one here and what we want to do first is we want to set our display settings in Excel. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to set the display settings to look at, to make these columns inches and the row inches. And we also want to set our margins. So the first thing we want to do is we want to, depending on how you want our squares to be, right now you've noticed that our cells are rectangles. In order to make a proper grid, this must be a square. So depending on how large you want your square to be, if you want it to be in inches or centimeters and millimeters, you need to set that up first. And in order to do that, we need to go into the Excel options view. We're going to click on the file tab to go into the backstage view. And in the file tab, we want to go to options. And when we're in Excel options, we want to click on the advanced in the navi left navigation here. And on the right navigation, you want to scroll down to where it says display. And under display, you'll see ruler units with a drop down. So we're going to set the units to, in our case, we're going to set it to inches. But depending on how you want your setup, you can either do centimeters or millimeters. But let's go with inches. And let's say that we want to do quarter inches for our squares. Once we select that, we click OK. And you'll notice nothing has changed. So what we want to do is we want to go in from normal view this is a normal view we want to go to the page layout view to see that so when we're in page layout view you'll notice that there are rulers up at the top and on the side and what we want to do is we want to change our grids to make it into a square of a quarter inch on the width and a quarter inch on the height so what I want to do is I want to select the whole range of cells and I can click here to do that so now we have our whole sheet selected here it basically has selected all the columns and all the rows. So what we want to do is we want to right click on the columns since they're all selected we can just right click and on the drop down go under and see column width. Now we see that we have column width right now is 0.72 inches. So you notice that we have that uh, double process, the double quote there which signifies inches. So we're going to change this to 0.25 and click OK and you'll notice now the columns have shifted and shrunk it down a bit let's go ahead and right click on the rows any row will do we just right click on the rows since they're all selected we can go to row height and make sure this is 25 so it's not 25 it's 21 so we're going to change it to 25 click OK and now we have our perfect uh, quarter inch squares now once that's done what we want to do is we, mo we might want to change our margins so if you're satisfied with these margins which is the default here you can stay with that or you can go and Increase, increase your margins to make it more narrow so you have more more um, more grid space basically but we're going to stick with that but this is just an option for you to do if you want to have more grids on your paper I'm going to stick with normal and click outside there and go ahead and go back into the normal view so in the normal view right now you'll notice that now I have my grids but these when you pr when you print out it's not going to print it so to show you what happens I'm just going to go in Go into print mode, press control P to get into the print preview, and you notice that there's nothing to print because there's no grid lines that have been that have a border under. There's no there's no indication that there's any formatting done. So I need to go back and select my borders. So I'm going to select from here to A B and go all the way down to A B 39. So you need to notice these lines here. These lines indicate where the margins for that space where you can edit stop. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the way from A1 to AB39. 
right? you notice I did it the opposite way but it's the same thing and then go out here under the font group and click all borders so once that's selected if I go into the page layout view you'll notice that now all the cells are selected if I do a control P to get into the print mode you'll notice now we have our grids so how do we get the numbers up here what we want to do is let me go ahead and go back into uh, the main view what I can do is I can just type in one and then tab two tab three I think that should probably be enough and I can just select that and select the fill handle here so I'm clicking the drag and all the way over to the end here so now I've got 1 to 28 and I'm gonna do the same thing down here I think I can just type in 2 and then if I drag I can go all the way down to the bottom here whoops don't want to go too far otherwise it's gonna print on another sheet so now I have that printed out so this is basically also a print preview mode when you think about it in the page layout because this is how the page will actually print out but if you just want to double check and I can go and press control P to get into the print mode and preview shows me that I am only going to print one of one and I have my numbers here so let me go ahead and get back out and so that is basically how you would create this graph paper with numbers so how do we create the other graph paper where we would have letters we would have these letters going up going across and then the numbers going down so that basically is a configuration in the page layout view so what we want to do here is we want to do the same thing we want to adjust our cells here to make it a square and then we're going to change the page layout so I'm gonna go ahead and go under the page layout view and select all the cells here by clicking that and then adjusting this right click that and go under column width and make that 0 0.25 quarter of an inch do the same for the rows the rows are selected already and right click go to row height and just add a 5 replace the one with a 5 there click OK we have our rows here and I need to highlight this again to make sure that this is all selected with borders oops went to the second page let me go and select that and then I'm going to click that to make the borders and I don't really need to put num letters here or numbers here so in this case where I wanted letters for the column headings and numbers for the row headings all I need to do is go into page layout and click on the dialog launcher here and in page setup go to sheet and click column and row headings so I want to print the column row headings basically print these row these column headings and print these row headings if I go print preview here you will know, now notice that they show up here All right. so how do we get information in the top right here name and date well th that's basically the header area so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in sheet 2 here when, we, when we're in page layout view you'll notice that if you hover over here you can edit the header here there's a center part a left part and a right part so we can just click on the right part here and I can put name let's say that's someone's name and then just put a underline shift and then underline here name press enter and then I had the date earlier so I can press type in date colon shift and then the other underline here and just kind of like press it a couple more times to get that so if I go into print preview mode you'll see that now that's there so there are two ways that we can create uh, a graph paper you can create it oh that's it there's three ways you can create it without the numbers or letter letters or you can create it with the letters as the heading and numbers for the rows or you can do numbers for the rows and excuse me you can do numbers for the columns and the rows so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.